just in your words, bro. I want you to relive that time and share it with us and mm. tell us what, how you got through that. Do you know what? I don't think you ever get through it. Mm. I've been anyone who's lost a parent or anyone, uh, child, parent, brother, sibling, sister, you know, it's always difficult. But that stuff, there's no manual, man. There, you can't prepare for it. No. You know, if, it, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Obviously, it happened to me and my family very young. You know what, I was about 22 <laughs> at the time. So, yeah. um, my younger brother was even younger. I was like 16. So, you know what it is? That phase was something, it's, it feels like, you know when you got that anxiety feeling when you feel like you don't want to eat mm. and you don't want to sleep yeah you don't want to do anything that's how i felt at that minute when i found out i was like you know what that's it like there's nothing to live live for and it's the wrong mentality at the time like i said because you have to eat and you have to sleep and you have to live that's life but at the time the gut feeling i got was empty you know um and it was the most difficult mm. part of life can you imagine you can ever imagine yeah. especially at that age um and obviously when you lose your mum you lose your mum it doesn't matter what age it's like you your mum your dad world, yeah yeah most it's, like, it's a, a pinch is a pinch isn't it? it doesn't matter when you pinch someone exactly you'll feel it the same way yeah absolutely right? and my thing is at that time i was like what am i going to do what are we going to do what are we going to do what am i going to do you know and you get scared this fear comes in your mind and your heart and the fear is loss you know and um at that time the my world broke i was like nope i'm not doing nothing no more i'm not going to finish uni i'm not going to drive pass my driving test legit i had none of that at the time i didn't want to um do music mm. i gave up i was like do you know what this is it. Like, i need to just follow life in a different path and naturally you feel like that when Ooh, something yeah. like that's happening of course yeah but because I had such great friends, you know, Yas was there. Oh, that's great, man. Such great friends, family, friends. Because there was good people in my life, they lifted me back up and my family, you know, like, and it's a very difficult subject because talking about it, it just, you feel like, because we I have to grow up without my mum at certain places. I saw my mum, I saw, yeah. I saw auntie and I was like, you know, she's my mum. Course, you know, yeah. like, and if anyone said something to her, I would wanna like, anyone said something to anyone's mum, I, I I just, it would hit you I'd in a different way. I, yeah. I would go mad. Like, it became more personal. <clears throat> very personal, and like there was a lot of events, so many things. I got married without a mum. I had kids without yeah. a mum. Wow. Now my my kids don't even know what my mum ever looked like until they look at a picture. Mm. So that feeling, man, is is hard. Of course, you know, like because you see it, and it's normal for everyone else. And it's great, like anyone who's got their parents, alhamdulillah, like, it's good for them, yeah, of good for them, you know, <laughs> yeah. like, you celebrate that. But man, after that, I just felt like alone. I felt alone. I felt like, you know what, I need to, uh, even though my dad was there, of course, yeah. you know, my dad was always there, but my dad, there's six kids, man. And my dad's a lot to yeah. take on on his own for him as well. And um, I just felt like this is going to be hard, man. You know, like, and I had to do everything alone, you know, graduated alone without my mum, you know, done everything without my mum. But in the back of my mind, I reversed the pain. And I was like, do you know what? I need to just turn this into strength. Of course, so yeah. rather than it being a weakness, it became my strength. And honestly, I even got married young. I got married two years later, age of 24. And I was yeah. lucky to have someone in my life. But I felt that that was a, because I think partly because I lost my mum first, so young, I got married because she took my mum, you know, not, she took my mum's place. Of course, she's yeah, not yeah, saying yeah. that. But yeah, yeah that's like a blessing, she a blessing huge came into your impact. Life. Yeah. yeah. And I felt like at that time, man, it was the right move for me. Um, and I grew up, I grew up quick, young. A lot of people didn't understand me, man. You know, like when I was yeah. to say things, people just didn't get what, what I was, tra what I was trying well. to say. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Grow up, man. Dude, no one got it, bro. 
you got to pay bills. I have to pay bills, bro. I have to do things. I have to man. I have to become a man, quick. You know, course, and yeah. I wouldn't change nothing. The only thing I would change is obviously my mum still being there. Of course, yeah. But I wouldn't change nothing else. I feel that you, you should. I, I encourage people to grow up quicker, enjoy life, but you should take responsibilities, man. Of course, yeah. You know, because the reason why I encourage that because you don't know who's going when. And when they go, you better be ready for it. You know what I mean? And when they go, the thing is, is like, I feel like all these things that happen in your life happens for a reason. Because even with, for example, your mum passing away, and yeah. I think it's built you into who you are today. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, everyone would wish that they could still keep their parents. I mean, I lost my dad when he when I was 12 years old. Okay. So, I, yeah, thanks. Um, I never grew up with like a father figure. Obviously, yeah, uncles understand. and cousins always there, but mm. it must be hard. But a mum is like irreplaceable sometimes. You know, your mum's there always for you. Like, look, like you said, look after the kids. Six kids are for a man to look after. Yeah, six it's true. Kids, it's, it's completely different. Yeah, it's not natural. It's, it's not natural, but it's it, obviously, mashallah, he's done a great job, but yeah. it's, it's harder. Mum will be proud, bro. Tell in you that now you've told me that I didn't yeah. know that about you. Just on this podcast, yeah. it's so real that I can tell just from your maturity that you had to man up. Yeah, yeah, legit. When I met you, and I'm not just saying it because you're yeah, of course, yeah, I'm it's just all real, it, man. Brother yep. to brother, of course. That I can, I can feel your presence of that you have to grow up quick. Of course, Without yeah. you even telling me, I'm like, you know, this guy's with it, man. He understands. Yeah. That's deep. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. May Allah grant mum the highest ranks of Jannah, my brother. Amen. So, bro, that happened. Having said all of that, yeah. obviously, it was a very testing time for you and your family. So then you got married. Yeah which is, it was an amazing chapter for you and has been, inshallah, always will be. And I remember that time very vividly, very well. Um, <laughs> and pick up to Nas, your missus. Yeah. And the one thing I want to bring up about your marriage is something very unique and something that I admire very much so, yeah? And that is the fact that you share it. Yeah. You put up your wife with a lot of love, your children. You want to celebrate your marriage. You know, and I believe a lot of people choose not to. And I'm not saying them people don't believe in yeah, yeah. evil eye and nazar, and I get all of that, yeah. and I fully understand that, I respect that. But I believe there's always a motive of people not putting up family members. Sometimes it's more personal for whatever reasons. But that, the fact that you do that, do you want people to know you're happy? Is it something that you get a satisfaction on where you post your wife and say, you know, my wife and my kids? And you show your daily life, you know, you're shopping, you're running around, mm. you're doing stuff that maybe is normal in the sense that you're, in, you know, you're an artist and you live a different life. Yeah. But that side is very refreshing to see for um, me. That's nice to know. But you know what? You just said it, innit? I yeah. just put it up because I think it's normal. Like me, I'm not trying to, when I go shopping, yeah, I'm not trying to throw my wife in a carry bag while I'm out shopping yeah, in <laughs> I'm not going to hide my, like, yo, duck. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, like, yeah. It's 